Yo guys, what up? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and you're back in the apartment, because on this Top Tier on tour, obviously we're not in the car, because I just called an Uber, and I'm waiting for him, and just about to get changed really quick and go. Uh, we're going to actually do a Top Tier on tour and head up Sasha's Arcade, and if um, you're a club member, he's the Kozak Warrior. Now, Sasha I've known for many years, and if you remember back in my Neo Geo 6 slot, I picked it up uh, from Sasha at his arcade raid and also the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike cabinet as well. So if you ever want to check that, you can look back in my archives and videos. But getting to it, so it's been a while now. Sasha's pretty much bringing all of his games home. He has a warehouse. He's been working on them. And he said, Steve, you know what? The wife's out. She's at a birthday party or whatever. We have the house to ourselves to hang out and, you know, talk. Obviously, his son's going to be there and also another friend of his. So we're going to head to Sasha's place. We're going to head to his house. Now, the interesting thing is, Sasha's place um, is, I mean, through pictures, looks amazing. But it's a good diversification because a lot of the arcades that have reviewed on my channel and also that have done tours of have been, you know, late 80s, early uh, you know, 90s, late 90s. And even in the 2000s, and the late 2000s, like my Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition and the Vulex, and also Pinball. So the unique, uh, the unique game room that Sasha has focuses on the golden age, which is late 70s and uh, mid 80s and to mid 80s of arcade machines. We're talking Robotron, we're talking Missile Command and things like that. So this is a good chance for me to really uh, get into those classics and relive them. Because a lot of my games are focused on the newer stuff but not restricted to because in the years to come and as top tier evolves I do want and I've always wanted the uh, a few of the uh, usual suspect titles such as Donkey Kong such as Galaga and moving you know things like that so this is a good idea to get ahead you know where Sasha is with his collecting what games he has what's coming and also an understanding of his space and where he wants to grow his personal arcade as well so let's jump in the uber and um, I'm not going to be filming because I've asked them before and they said they'd rather not because it's the driver, but whatever. So I'm going to jump in the Uber. We're going to head to Sasha's place. We're going to check it out, you know, get a uh, total walkthrough of what he has and what he has going to come. And uh, we'll check him out. All right, guys. So Sasha just uh, let us in. Let's go down to his basement. Let's see, check out Sasha's arcade, which I've been wanting to since I've met him for, what, two years now? All right, so here it is. That's sure. Yeah, hey. Hey. What Hi. up, man? Thanks for having me. What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you, buddy. How's yeah, it going? Very well, very well. Yeah, now so, I'm the subject of your uh, video. <laughs> yes, man. Finally, after so many years of knowing you and talking with you, being cool with you, I finally get a chance to see it. Now, I know it's not complete. You did tell me. Yeah. But um, I know no that... Near. No one fair, near. It's okay. Yeah. Well, uh, this will be stage one. So, I mean, as we can see, there's a lot of monitors. It's, oh, my God. Look at the PCBs and all the parts. This One is nothing. Of... I'm just starting to bring them over from my shop. Really, eh? Um, and I'm trying to do it in an orderly manner, uh, so that I, well, I can label <laughs> everything, pack it properly, test it, put on the put on the shelf if it's working or not, or, or, in, or mark down what, what would be causing the problem from what I can tell. Right. Uh, you know, if it's out of my league, you know, then I know which PCBs are worth it to send out <clears throat> to the right guy to get fixed. Got it. Uh, or which ones I can fix myself, which have you know, minimal uh, problems with them. Uh, but th yeah, th these shelves will be packed once I bring everything else that I have at the shop. Well, why don't so, we start here before we actually enter where the arcade is. So obviously yeah. there's a lot of monitors. Now, again, this is a different, a little different take on a tour, my top tier tour, because normally lately I've been doing a lot of pinball, um, a lot of newer stuff in the 90s and later. So this is going to be a very good mix because a lot of your stuff are late 70s and 80s. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, well, why don't you take us through it? So, I mean, right now there's probably people drooling. I mean, as far as these monitors, take us through because these monitors, if it's not a, you know, 25 inch, I'm yeah. not really used to it. I have to be on, so school me as well. So, what do you so think? these would be your, like, uh, Lunar Lander, Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe monitors, black and white XY monitors. Right. Um, they're getting harder to find, so I like to have them on the shelf. Something goes wrong, I got a monitor I can throw in. Right. Rebuild the chassis. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, even if I can't get it working, I can always send the parts out to another guy, like I say, to get it working. And, got it. And at least I can get the monitor. So these are your black and white XYs. I got an NOS uh, CRT here. I think it's for 7200. 
Um, I'm waiting to save that for a uh, special game, whatever it is. I don't know yet. Okay. Uh, this is a 13 inch NOS Wells Gardener. In the box. Yeah, Look at that. Box. In the box, yeah. Wow. Wrapped, completely wrapped. Literally right, new in box. Me. Yeah. Literally the new in box. You don't see that often. No, yeah. I've never seen that ever yeah. in the real garden. Uh, and I think I've, I've been trying to figure out how to install this into my Warlords. Uh, problem is the frame is different. Oh. And uh, the frame in my Warlords right now is for. Uh, a GOA monitor, right? Uh, and you know, it just won't fit because the chassis for Wells won't fit in a uh, GOA uh, frame. So I'm trying to figure out something. I gotta be crafty. Uh, I got a couple NOS Pentronic 19-inch uh, monitors. Um, I'll throw them in a game. I'm not sure what Wells Gardener Vertical. Actually, no, that's horizontal. Another. That's an NOS tube on an older frame. You know, you never know. I'm gonna need them. I got three 6100 uh, monitors here, wow. all with the uh, various burn. Um, you know, just the, the burn you won't see in most games because uh, most Atari games that use a 6100 have uh, tinted plexi on it. That is true. Yeah, or tinted glass. Uh, so you, you don't see it. Um, and there's my almost NOS G08. That's something you don't see often. Right. And uh, that's going to go into the tax can that I would love to own one day i'm collecting the parts right now and uh one of the few things i'm missing well the main thing i'm missing is the converter cab <laughs> so True. anyone out there that has a converter cab that they want to sell um yeah yeah i'll hook you up if they do it wow look um, you know it's funny when i first came uh, you know uh, when you're telling me and showing me this look how well organized they are i mean that's hey, look man i'm ocd as well and i'm again i'm i'm not to your level but just, I know there's a lot. Tell us, you know, obviously what what's labeled here is legit large caps. Um, you know, if, what's a few uh, PCBs so here? What is organized right now? Uh, before I bring everything else, like for instance, these uh, PCBs here would be for games that I currently have in the arcade, and I like to have a spare for each uh, game, right? Uh, or like a spare power supply that I know is working, uh, or some some boards that I just I love the game, like uh, Bubble Symphony and Bubble Memories. Uh, stuff like that that I can swap into my Bubble Bobble Arcade. Um, so I want to collect the whole series and another game I'm looking for is Rainbow Islands and, which I can't seem to find any, anywhere. I'd love to own it but uh, so I got parts stuff up here uh, for rebuilding uh, say harnesses or uh, power supplies and um, you name it you know for from small to large restorations I keep a little bit of parts. Wow. Um, I mean, this is just random wiring. It's random stuff because nothing's organized. I'm right. bringing stuff over. Uh, this is for a restore I'm doing here at home. That's the, you know, for... We'll get to that. I saw, yeah. it, I saw it there. Yeah. yeah. So a bunch of Atari PCBs. This is the Atari, which is going to be more stuff. Uh, random mix of games again uh, that I've tested or built adapters for. and uh, that are, uh, Most of this stuff is actually going to be sold or that I'm selling. And whatever I sell, I use to fund my restorations. That makes sense. Purchases. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, I made a promise to the wife. That promise was uh, basically, yeah, you know, you can continue arcade stuff, but we don't want it to, you know, hit the pocket too much. So sell stuff, uh, sell stuff, yeah. and yeah. you know, make a little money on that, and then buy stuff. Uh, right. But you know, it's that's the way to keep it going. So uh, future projects, uh, I have stuff up here to do my journey cab. Um, you know almost complete i got the harness i got almost everything i'm missing the control panel um but uh slowly piece it together and then that's another one I'm waiting for the cabinet for <laughs> right uh, which is tough to find too right yeah, a journey cabinet. yeah and uh, nobody's reproing them or nobody's reproing them that's uh that it's available uh so and then my multi williams that if i find an empty williams cab i will put it in nice um you know because it's sitting there might as well use it that's a, almost a complete Space Fury set. Uh, restored control panel, beautiful art, the bezel in great condition. Um, I may use some of it for the tax scan, I may not, but that's something I'm, I'm looking to sell as well in the future. Uh, amplifone parts, uh, wow. reflection boards, high voltage boards, uh, as well as cap kits for monitors and everything there, and extra chassis I have all there. But, there's a lot more coming, so I got it organized in such that I have a lot more space. There's art coming. There's probably another 250 PCBs. Oh my God! Wow. Maybe, maybe more uh, that wow. sitting at my shop that are waiting to be categorized and put on my shelf here, and so I can slowly list it and sell it. Yeah, right. man. Why not? That's the way to do it. Get organized. I do bring it. it in boxes like this, so every day I'll bring a box home and 
you know, then I'll wrap it, bubble wrap it, test it, um, note what I can on it, if, what needs work, what not. So that's this section. That's just going to be my parts section, boneyard. This is just your own personal family stuff, right? Behind yeah. this curtain? Yeah, this okay. is just like storage for winter, winter stuff whatever, yeah. And, you know, so over here we got the kids' play area, you know. Uh, I want to fill everything up with arcades and pits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, this is good for now, right? I, I'm slowly building the arcade and, uh, you know, it's a work in progress. And uh, so over on this side is my workbench. Show me it. Yeah, this um, looks pretty cool. I mean, this is just spar parts and everything here, right? Yeah, so like right here, I got a bunch of boards that I got to build uh, JAMA adapters for. So I started it, I cut the wires and I did a lot of the wiring, but I got to finish up connecting it to the JAMA side. Right. So it takes time. For me anyways, it's hard to find time. So I keep it there and I can do one here and there. I'll do it. Oh, that's my son, Misha. Hey, Misha, what's up? How you doing? Good. He, he's a future arcade enthusiast slash collector. Cool. <laughs> um, here you got something that I just received not too long ago. Um, these are the uh, repro boards, uh, Major Havoc and Quantum. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, you got the uh, Letta chips and you got... Um, yeah, cool, Mish. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, we got, um, you know, I'm starting to collect the parts to build them and I'm debating uh, to build them myself. Oh my God, send it out. Or send it out. Uh, just, I don't have the time. Yet. So you have to actually take every part, put it on, solder it all yourself? There you go. There's, oh. there's a new oh major God. Havoc. Uh, it's a great board. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's going to take some time to put together. Um, I'm working on a, a Namco pole position right now. Uh, there was a bunch of chips on it that uh, I had to change sockets for and then uh, um, find new custom chips because they were so corroded that they were unrepairable. Like wow. maybe seven, eight legs break off. That's just too much to fix. So, and a couple uh, the smaller chips, I'm getting Steph at Hobby Roms to program me a couple. So, and so I got my spare parts. Uh, I actually acquired a ton of spare parts from one old operator that. Uh, he said, just take it. Oh, wow, and nice. He didn't know what he had anymore, and I just, I categorized it all, you know, figured it out, and then put it all in these bins, and I've actually used a bunch of it already, so it's That's good. Come, come handy. This um, is your, uh, you, this is your, um... Super gun. Super gun setup, right? Yeah, yes. Nice. So you got the super gun here, the power supply. This is a great monitor. It, you know, displays the picture very well. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I just connected to my Gemma harness, Gemma adapter. And uh, boom, pops up. So it's turtles in time right now. My son loves playing it, so yeah, it's I a put it on for him. It's yeah. a very popular game and expensive as well. Yeah, I'm probably selling this PCB eventually. Really? Huh? Yeah. So. Looking on here is uh, this is a PlayTrace 10 Duel, as you can see. Yeah. Uh, nothing special on the outside. Been restored. Uh, you know, I bought this NOS gun and uh, connector, the chain. Sorry from uh, Milestar, Arcade Fix It. I was like, okay, I restored the whole darn thing. I want a brand new gun. Yeah, so, why not? You know, it wasn't cheap, but I think it was well worth it. Um, you know, they put a lot so. of work into these things. Yeah, you. man, look, I mean, everything yeah. looks uh, really good. Show me the back. You're saying this one has this unique, right? Yeah, so basically, um, Playtrace 10 would have one motherboard, um, and, uh, you know, you play 10 games. And uh, so, you know, Vector Labs came up with this ingenious uh, piece of, uh, arcade uh, product here where you can connect four PC-10 motherboards in one cabinet. So I'm in the middle of the stage of uh, putting this together and testing it. And I had a couple issues with uh, the Vector Labs motherboard um, where I, I, there were some weird issues. So he sent me another one to uh, do a little testing, replace it out and see if that fixes the problems. If that doesn't, then it's me. <laughs> But I'll be able once it's working. I'll be able to play 40 play choice games wow. in one cabinet. That's cool. So that's my Nintendo fix. This one one cabinet. Yeah, right why not? Yeah. It's great. Uh, so right here I got a uh, Midway uh, Infinity Touchmaster. It's uh, it's really nice. I just have nowhere to put it properly right now. So it's sitting on my floor. Right. Sadly, my poor uh, game there. My son loves the basketball hoops game. Mm. So we play that often. Um, and right now we lie on the floor and play it. It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, cold basement floor. Um, so next to that is uh, Afterburner. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I said it on Claude before. I said I think this is the most expensive restored Afterburner in the history of Afterburners. 
Uh, I got more NOS parts on this than, than I don't know, I just spent too much money. That's all I can tell you. Uh, whatever it could, I could restore, got restored. There's new rubber mats. All the wood was restored, um, bondoed, uh, new T molding, all the metal polished, all the other metal powder coated. Uh, I put a new monitor uh, with a K7000 chassis, but then I had to put a new yoke, so that was my first yoke change, and it turned out all right. right. Although there is some errors, like uh, some colors not aligning properly, but. I can live with that right now. Oh, it looks really good, man. Wow, wow. It plays well. Really Shaker motor works. Yeah. Uh, it's one of my favorite games, but I think you're going to hear me say that a lot. They're all one of my favorite games. Hey, man, games. I'm the same. You think I'm not... I <laughs> yeah. think a lot of arcade guys say that. So, uh, right here you got... Bosconian, uh, nice. Bosconian. Not very common. Yeah. Um, I, I picked this up off another clover, and, uh, you know, he, he was visiting Canada for a short work period, and he brought this with him, and he was selling, and price was good and I love Bosconian ever since I was a kid I remember playing Bosconian and uh, so I, I decided to restore it head to toe stripped it down sanded it uh, painted the cabinet put new art and uh, it just came out beautiful all original except for the for the art yeah I mean, uh, it looks beautiful the CPO is NOS so we could say that's original right um, but uh, it works perfectly and it's just a fun game and I I can't get past uh, I'm at 83,000 with the high score save kit um, and yeah it's a game that uh, I want to try to get over 151 one day right right, one right. Day. Uh, next to that is yeah Robotron yeah, I think classic yeah one of one of the most favorite games in arcade history um, and I did a little something different with this I restored the cabinet uh, in such a way that I wanted to pay homage to this great, great game that everybody loves. Um, and uh, so I decided to make it look like a robot. Um, so I chromed it out. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. And uh, so I had to get the side art uh, printed, but then die cut so right. I can make it look like it was, uh, you know, the original. Uh, so it's all the right size and everything. But also, if I ever want to bring it back to original stenciled side art, right. I sanded it and primed it in such a way that underneath the vinyl, it's all ready to go. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, um, and if you notice, it's a brand new tube in here, and I did another tube uh, yoke swap, um, and once it goes to the other screen, you're going to see it's kind of bending in on the sides. Oh, there see? it is, yeah, yeah. It's bowing. I can't figure that out. If one of you monitor gurus can tell me uh, what's causing this bending in on the sides, I'd love to know because it kind of bothers me. <laughs> Fair <laughs> it's, enough. It's a great game, and then you know you can play it no problem. Uh, you don't really notice it when you play, but it's those little things. Right? When you're Type A, that bothers you. Yeah, right? for sure. Here's a super punch out. Um, this was fully restored. Um, everything all original um, except for the CPO, um, which is already cracking. Um, and I got from another club member. He custom made these. Uh, these lower marquee uh, printouts, and they, I think it gives such a beautiful look to yeah, the game. Yeah, man, it looks yeah. beautiful. Yeah, uh, it beautiful plays well. Name. I suck at it, um, but you know, I think it's one of those super class classics that uh, just catches my eye, and I want to get better at. Right? Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. I never really played it back in the in the console days either. So. Yeah, the NES one I actually like more, to be honest. Yeah, Which is weird. I don't know why. Just like better. yeah, I just liked it more. More guys. You know, I don't. I don't like the wireframe guy. I don't yeah. know why. I like the that one. Oh, you see the side art's all new on there too. And yeah, it came out smooth. This is one of those cabinets that um, I started to do the. I, I I'd send the cabinet to my buddy who has a, a cabinetry. Oh wow. Making place. Yeah. So he's got a spray booth. So oh, I cool. take I take advantage of his spray booth and I spray my cabinets yeah, now. That's so cool. It just comes out like it's a beautiful hard finish and it should last a lifetime. Yeah, man, that looks amazing. Here's Defender. I bought Beautiful. this off a of club member. And I can't remember his name, uh, but he's in Florida. He put the yellow tea molding. I, I liked it. I, I would have changed it to black back to original, but actually I kind of liked it. Yeah, you did a great um, job. It's the original stencil. There's not a single scratch, like barely anything. Yeah. Um, you know, original bezel. There's no no issues with it. Plays well. It's hard as hell this game, um, but I, I think I play it actually okay, and uh, I love it. Uh, so this, I don't think this game would ever leave my collection. That's yeah. good. Beautiful. 
Uh, this is something. This is cool. Yeah, this was a special thing I did for my wife. Uh, surprise, because you know I want to include her in the arcade. Yeah, smart, good move. Uh, and her favorite game in history was uh, Bubble Bobble. So I said, okay. There was a really beat up Joe's cabinet, which was gu kind of gutted, and I saved what I could. If you were to see the inside of this, I saved as much of the Joe's harness and included that into the JAMA right. harness. Um, so underneath this control panel, other than the two uh, added holes, uh, um, you know, they're, they're all original Joe's components underneath. So, um, and it works well, you know. I like the way the monitor is positioned very vertically. I think for this game, that's a better way to play it. I agree. Yeah. So that was that. I did all the custom art for it. And I actually, uh, when I posted it on Club, a lot of other members asked me for it. And I just sent the graphic files out. And I, you know, Good hopefully you. a lot of people, more people make bubble bubbles. I love the game. Yeah, cool. Very cool. Uh, there's Missile Command. I got this from Saskatchewan. Uh, oh, wow. I brought it in. I trucked it in. Um, you know, this is one of those 80s arcades that... Uh, is so iconic, Sorry, like Cold War. It screams like, you know, exactly that time period. And so I like sure. I had to have this, right? Um, it, it's fun and it's very challenging. Um, that high score, uh, forty-six thousand. I know it's not high in terms of like awesome players, but you know, I suck. I'm at twenty-five. That's my max. And my son, he's <laughs> getting in there for a sneak peek. But yeah, I, I'm terrible at this game. But my buddy Roland, who came. He came one day to uh, play this game, and he goes, yeah, I used to play Miss Command as a younger guy. And uh, he goes, I haven't played a long time. I, I probably suck at it. And he's like, he rolls, and he's just like, Durr. and he hits all the things. And then next one, rolls it, Durr. hits all the things. I'm like, you suck at it? You're a pro at it. You're not even trying. And he just, like, destroyed my high score in one game. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, I guess he played a lot of Missile Command. Um, Tetris, this, this is... Uh, a really cool one. Um, it's actually a dedicated Atari Tetris. Is it really? Yep. Uh, very few of them were made. And when I say very few, uh, in the hundreds. So, oh, wow. So I would say 150 maybe wow. around there. Guys, tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, from what I know, I think it's very, very few. I had to recreate the art bezel. And I shared that file on Clove. Um, so I put that on a Plexi. And I think it turned out really, really nice. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. Beautiful monitor, um, everything. I found an NOS uh, CPO for it. I rebuilt the joysticks. They were really dirty. Uh, and I stuck with the chrome. I love the chrome, so I, re I redid the vinyl. I put new T-molding. It came with chrome T-molding. Mm. But I pipped it out a bit. Yeah, uh, the, I, coin, the coin door. I chromed door. up the, the coin door. I thought that went with the... Yeah, the, the whole theme. The it looks cool. Yeah. Sometimes I do a little something Yeah, a little different. unique. Yeah, sure. And that's my nice Molson Canadian rock. I love this uh, guitar, man. I got it at one of my uh, raids, and I don't think I'll ever part with it. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. But when the lights are off, it kind of lights up all around, and you know, right. kind of cool. Uh, here's my Tron. Yeah. This, this was an intense, intense restoration, uh, head to toe. And if you ask anybody who's done a Tron restoration. Um, how much effort it takes to get everything aligned in terms of the art to get these panels oh, on yeah, properly. I can imagine. And if anyone's about to do a Tron restoration, all I would say is take a ton of pictures. A ton of pictures of the game before so you know exactly where to place the art and how to do it. That helped me a lot. Um, you know, and I, as with all my games, except for the ones where they have the original art in good condition like Missile Command and Defender. I strip it down, take all the art off, I sand it down, I bondo any imperfections in the corners or edges and um, yeah, if I put new black vinyl and then new art over top of that or if I paint it, yeah, it's all redone. So uh, this was done inside and out. Only thing I can say about this game is um, I've had a little bit of monitor issues where I think it's, I, I know there's a, a tinted plexi over top, but right. it still seems a little too dim to me and I can't seem to get it brighter. So huh. again, I, I'm not... A, I'm not a very good tech guy, uh, and these are kind of things where I wish I had a local guy that was really good at tech that could help me, uh, how you say, uh, optimize my games. Yeah, it makes sense. You yeah. said that there's a, there you did something you uh, oh rare. Yeah, I, huh? I did a mod, and I got this idea. Um, there was a guy in Claw that did something like this. Jeez, uh, forget his name. I'm terrible with names, but anyways, uh, he gave me the idea of how to do this and what to buy 
So I created another L bracket, put it underneath the original bracket, and on the other side of this, there's a, um, a black light. Oh, there it is. Cool. Black light tape, you know? And that lights the whole inner inner side of the Tron, which you don't usually see lit up. Right. Uh, so, you know, there's beautiful fluorescent inks that are used. And Phoenix Arcade, shout out to Phoenix Arcade, he did an incredible job with the art. Just incredible. These uh, fluorescent inks he's used, even on the plastics, look at that. It's gorgeous. It really pops. It does. So, it's exact to original and it... Wow, it's so fresh, gorgeous. I love playing this no, game. No, it's a beautiful It's a hard movie. one to master. Um, my sad, sad Gyrus is down. I love this game. What's going on? What's wrong uh, with it? This was my first stenciled game. Um, can I say a bad word? Yeah. Yeah, I, I fucked up, but I managed to fix it. Really? Uh, yeah, it was... Uh, this stencil is bloody hard. Come see it on this side. Sure. It's three colors, but three... You know, you got to put three different stencils... One for each. Yeah, hey, I'm each terrible, color. man. And I don't know why you're looking at me and Zimba. Oh <laughs> my god, I learned a lot from this because I learned what paint to use, how to use it, when to peel it off, um, and uh, how to correct your mistakes if it peels the paint. So, um, but it came out beautiful. You can't even see where I touched it up. Um, and thankfully, because it, the, the side art is so intense, it's hard to tell. Right. But right now it's down because... Uh, the monitor you said, right? No, the PCB. Uh, I got to change the sockets. Uh, I, Gyrus is well known for having a lot of problems with the sockets. So I'm going to change the sockets and uh, she'll be up and running again because this is one of my favorite games. And this really is one of my favorite games. Right, right. Uh, I put an NOS Monroe joystick, NOS CPO. Um, I did something really cool to the Centuri coin door. I polished the logo so it looks shiny. Usually they're dull and they look sanded. Um, so I figured I'd let it pop out because it is one of my favorite games. Uh, so next to that is my Atari Star Wars. That's upright. beautiful, wow. I put my heart and soul in this. <clears throat> I bought it, uh, the cabinet from uh, a club member. I imported it from the US. Um, I stripped this down. There was a lot missing. There was a lot wrong with it. <coughs> I ended up, um, you know, I had to recreate the marquee. The marquee was, the wood was broken. Let me get up here. This is the... So I, I had a local cabinet maker make the, a replica of the marquee because nobody was reproducing them. And all I right. still don't think anyone is. And he did a fantastic job. So this is all uh, Phoenix Arcade uh, artwork. All screen printed artwork. It's top of the line stuff. Uh, you know, Star Wars is a, uh, let's say, our generation's... Uh, yeah, for sure. One of the most important themes of our generation. So, I love the game, too. It plays amazingly well. It's got the uh, Vector Labs uh, multi-game. So, I have nice. uh, Empire Strikes Back as well. And you have to... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And it switches... Now to Sick. Empire Strikes That's Back. That's so cool. Yeah. So I thought that was really, really funky. All new art, all new art on the front too. Um, coin door, everything powder coated. Any metal pieces were freshly powder coated. And uh, that's the original plastic bezel with the original art, which was amazing. That was in great it condition. Amazing, yeah. But this yoke was NOS. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I got that from Milestar, um, Arcade Fix It. Nice. I, I buy a lot of stuff from him for my uh, restorations because he's one of the few sources for NOS. I had to go get uh, go to the watering hole and get some. <clears throat> my mouth was getting dry. Love it. All this hockey. Um, yeah, so we kind of left off at Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I got NOS yoke, um, and in the back, um, I had uh, uh, one guy rebuild my amp. Uh, high voltage uh, board and deflector board and uh, there's a amp tube in here of course that's the only way to do it right. <laughs> in my opinion right um, so moving on over here I have my Neo Geo 4 slot um, it needs to be restored um, I like my games to look nice and minty and this is the one game I brought home where I didn't do the restoration of the body uh, at my shop before I brought it home I I don't know if it's a mistake or not, but I, I got to take off the vinyl, do bondo work here in my basement. Right. Which kind of bothers me because I got little kids. And it's very clean, it's true. It's clean. It's in beautiful, con clean condition. Just I have to, you know, 
I got new artwork for it and everything, so I want to make it look pretty. Um, behind back there is my Star Trek, uh, Sega Star Trek. It's a multi vector because that also uh, has the Vector Labs kit in it. Right. Um, although there's a problem with my, my kit, and Vector Labs is working on it right now, it's in his possession. He has my other PCB stack. Um, he's trying to figure out the glitches and he's doing uh, some, some tests on it. Uh, but this cabinet was a major restore, head to toe. Uh, we put new um, uh, wood grain vi uh, laminate. We'll see on the side when we creep yeah. in, yeah. New art uh, art kit from This Old Game. Shout out to This Old Game. He makes amazing products as well. Um, and uh, yeah, the art is beautiful. Although the bezel, the monitor bezel, and the marquee are original. The CPO and the side art is all from This Old Game. Right. And right next to that, right here, is Spy Hunter. I'm trying to walk you in here. There we go. Sorry, this this is the the the, Temporary. the yard of yeah. projects where they're restored, but there's glitches or there's issues that I can fix from home. They just have so to be I put take together. Home. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this Spy Hunter was another head to toe restore. I got it off um, a Canadian guy uh, in exchange for another game. And uh, I love Spy Hunter. That was another childhood memory. And uh, so this cab uh, needed a lot of work. The bottom was replaced because the bottom was all caved in. And anyone that knows Spy Hunter knows how bloody heavy this game is. It's a beast. Mm. Uh, so uh, yeah, I uh, stripped it down, rebuilt uh, pretty much everything. I powder coated the handlebars. Um, CPOs for this are still not remade. Uh, oh really? But I got lucky. This one had a really nice original CPO. There's no cracks. There's no dents. No cigarette burns. Nothing. Um, it looks perfect. So I kept it. Uh, powdered, repowder coated coin door. All new side art. That's from Rich at this old game. He did the whole entire um, whole art package. package. Yeah. yeah. The new marquee. Um, although, like I said, the CPO and the monitor bezel is original. I was nice. contemplating uh, on changing the monitor bezel but because there was some scratches in the glass but the colors were perfect so I said, yeah why it. no way yeah that's that one let's go here uh, yeah right here we got the uh, original pac-man cocktail um this is my second restore ever and as usual i go to town uh, i took everything out everything powder coated uh and i tried it with all my games i try to stay as original as possible minus the few games where I do a couple details where like I do some chrome right. or like on the Robotron I did more chrome but um, I like chrome uh, <laughs> yeah it looks uh, good it looks neat it looks, yeah. yeah I try to stay original I try to stay true because you know I, I want to pass these on so 30 years later somebody can say well you know this has been properly restored and uh, and it's it's true to it. it's what it was coming out from the factory and I want to save this piece of history so Pac-Man for me was very important in that regard and uh, in internally the guts are all original. Nice. There's not a single wire that was changed or cut. Everything was cleaned, put back in and finely tuned. Uh, okay, there's one thing I changed on this. Um, right here. You know, this used, these were naturally uh, blank white plexis. Right, not lit. Right. And there was a member on Clove who was selling these art 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 plexis, and I said, "Wow, that is just such a cool touch." Yeah. The originals are in the coin box. Right. So, if anyone ever wants to put them back on, if I ever sell this, they're there. Nice. Uh, I just thought that was kind of cool with the light. Yeah, it complements yeah. it well. And you'll notice the the base. You'll rarely ever see a Pac-Man or a Galaxian cocktail with the height extension base. Um, and I think this is such a cool touch. It, it gives the game versatility. You can play standing up. And I actually like playing Pac-Man like this, standing up at, at that level, having a beer like I'm having now, um, <laughs> and uh, enjoying the game. So that's kind of cool. Um, right next to that is my Galaga. And Galaga, you know, a lot of guys want this game. And I don't blame them. It's a great game. I do as well, but I want the stand-up. I personally yeah. want the stand-up. And like I was going to say, most people want the stand-up. Yeah. Let's say 99%. But I played this game in a pizza, pizza shop in a sit-down, and I can't play it any other way. Right. I absolutely love it like this. This was another full-on restore. Beautiful. Powder-coated. Um, and by the way, I have to mention, 
this is a uh, brand new screen printed glass, this and Pac-Man from Phoenix Arcade. Wow. Um, not cheap, but worth every penny because right. he screen prints it exact to the original. It's like gorgeous. I mean, if you're going to do a full on restore. Yeah, I do it right. Do you want to have the ugly scratch up glass on right. top of it? It's true. Forget it. And chipping, the art has never been good after 30 years. So it's true. switch it up. Uh, so yeah, everything inside is all original, including the power supply. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. You want to go? Do you want to just go? Oh, let's go yeah, this go way, just because it's easier. This now this is a very, uh, very expensive and very sought after. Huh? Yeah, this is my version of uh, Major Havoc dedicated. It's a Frankenstein because it has a lot of original parts uh, and a lot of reproduction parts. Right. Uh, so it's got an original PCB, original monitor, amplifone, original coin door, uh, original uh, power brick. Uh, AR2 um, and I think pretty much everything else is reproduction well wow. and, and this was a, a number of club members that got together to be able to make this possible um, I've seen the thread I've seen the yeah, thread yeah. I mean I, I could go naming names because I don't want to forget anybody so that's why I'm not gonna go naming names right. but you guys all know who you are thank you so much uh, you guys make arcade dreams happen. <laughs> you know, because who, who would ever want to dedicate a major havoc? Like, it's ridiculous. There's so few made. But, or they cost you another arm and leg. It's true. But part of, part, of the, part of the fun of the hobby is piecing things together and building it and, you know. Yeah, making the work. Uh, yeah, it, I, I, find, I find it very uh, It's relaxing. rewarding. Rewarding. Let me get yeah. to the back, Sash. Let me just yeah. check in. Yeah. Oh. You might want to turn on light in the back. Um, I don't have this technology. Sorry. I, <laughs> I do, but um, it's on my other thing, yeah. The AR2 no, is not so. uh, screwed in because I actually have to rebuild that. Um, I'm having power supply issues. Um, I haven't connected anything to the board That's yet. the original board. That's too. the original dedicated Major Havoc board, Tolly and Webb. Um, and my friend, uh, Vector Collector on Clove. I've heard, yeah, he's actually, yeah. he's good. He is he's, he's my guru in terms of arcade stuff. He knows a lot and, you know, he, he rides me a lot because I'm as dumb as nails when it comes to this shit. So and, am uh, I, come and on. And he's a maniac with this stuff, like, so smart. And uh, he repaired this for me. It's working. And so I do not want to plug it in until I know my voltage is correct. Do, yeah, I would do the same. <laughs> um, you know, I, I really enjoy it. I, I actually wish I could take some courses and learn to fix this stuff technically, but... You know, with kids, family, business, money, sports, everything. money, everything. Nobody has time. Nobody has the, you know, send it out to the right guy. The right guys exist, so why not? You know, we all support each other. If I can help people with what I have, I do it, you know? It makes um, sense. So you got your power brick. You got your AR2. Then you got your board. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much what's back there, you know? And... This is also made by a, a cloth member, the wire harness, um, Golden Age Arcade Parts. Like I'm saying, like the cabinet's made by a, 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 a member called, uh, his name is Markle, M-A-R-K-L. He did a beautiful job on these reproduction cabinets, exact to original. Uh, Takeman did all the metal. Um, huh. And everything fits together perfectly. That's the cool thing about it. It's like it came out of the Atari factory. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. Whoa. yeah. That's a big one. One day I want to play that. I've never played it before. Yeah, it's a cool game. What's, uh, oh yeah, let's do uh, pole position. <laughs> Actually, let me just, I know you said that was the vinyl on the Star Trek, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you got Star Trek back there. I can move stuff a little nah, bit. Nah, 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 don't know, don't worry, don't worry. But you can see that the wood grain is all new. Um, p -lam, they call it p -lam, um laminate. Right. Very thin, uh, but rigid and should last a number of years. Well, I hope a lifetime because it's not in an arcade, it's in a home. It's true. And uh, infamous, I mean, not infamous, uh, very famous. Uh, very famous, yeah. Pole position. This is two, though, right? This is pole position two. Yeah. It's a dedicated pole position two from factory. Um, I was telling you earlier, this one is special because there's not much information on it. I, and I have my beliefs on what I believe Atari did. Uh, you know how they had a lot of problems with the Atari board? Yeah, yeah. They're, Atari they're board. North, yeah. Well, this was a North American cabinet, as you can tell. Um, and I restored it, so it's all new art, and that is from, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, this old this game. Uh, Rich, right? Yep. Yeah. And he did a beautiful job in the pole position 2 art. The CPO and the, the bezel art is also from him. 
Uh, this is an NOS monitor bezel, NOS marquee, and this is also rich, rich uh, at this old game's production. I had to have that top, right? Just when I seen it, I was like, wow. It looks wow. cool. It looks and really cool. I scratched it. it. Drives me crazy. Are you kidding? You? Uh, I mean, it happens to me. Like, you know, I told you my blast city. It yeah. is what it is. What yeah. are we going to do? It sucks. But, uh, yeah, I, I managed to polish the steering wheel. It looks brand spanking new, pretty much. That was an NOS shifter. Oh, wow. Yeah, and so no cracks. Wow. Can you imagine? No cracks. These things are cracked all the time. Um, yeah, powder coated coin door, everything like that. But what I want to say was, um, oh, before I say the other thing was, NOS plastic bezel. That's wow. unheard of. Not a single cigarette burn. Like I that's know. rare as hell. Can you imagine if I was doing this, my cigar would be perfectly purged right here. <laughs> so I figured that uh, if I'm gonna make this thing look like it came out of the factory, I need to find an NOS bezel. It looks beautiful. And man. I found one. I thought I'd never find it, but I did. Um, so what makes this cabinet special is Atari North America made a few dedicated pole position twos that were wired to fit Namco boards. Right. So even the PCB for the steering is different uh, in how it works. It's it's opposite. It's uh, you know the plug would have to be turned around for an Atari, but that's what I figured out anyways. Um, the wire harness was made to fit a Namco board, but a North American cabinet. And nobody on Cloud seems to be able to un, uh, to have an explanation as to to why. But my theory is, uh, since they were having so many problems with the, the Atari board with overheating and whatever else, that maybe at the time they were thinking about switching to the Namco board. I don't know. That's the only reason I can think of it. But uh, I'm still buying. Uh, the new uh, multi-pole position when it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it won't fit in my cab, I'm getting it. Uh, so right here, next game. Lunar Lander, dedicated. What, what number is it? Um, serial number... So 1673? One, 1373. Something like that. Yeah. So this was a full-on restore. Um, great game. Uh, I have yet to get it working because I have monitor issues. And uh, like I suck with monitors. <laughs> so... Um, everything else is working. Vector uh, collector again, my vector guy. He fixed the board for me. Got it working. Double checked everything. Everything was restored. The coin door, the AR AR1, uh, the power brick. Um, you know, the, all the sides were sanded and bondoed, and new art applied from uh, Phoenix Arcade. All screen printed. Gorgeous stuff. Um, I'll pull it back this way so you can. No, oh, I can see it. I'm okay. Yeah, it's on uh, wheels, so it's not too bad. Oh wow, look at this. It looks brand new. Yeah. That's a Takeman uh, control panel. Uh, Phoenix Arcade new Plexi. Um, it's a Phoenix Arcade uh, marquee. Yeah, this thing looks like a... Yeah, it's the Owl the owl Eye coin door too. Yeah. Right? It, it's a cool coin door. That's it, cool. That, that's just beautiful. I've never seen itself. that. I've never seen one in person. Neat. Yeah. And that's where it's lit up 20. I've never seen that's cool. Man. Right, all the chrome was polished up, beautiful. and uh, you know, it's gonna look beautiful when it's done. I got the, the, the tinted plexi for it, I have the cardboard bezel. Um, it's just the monitor I gotta get going, so yeah, mm. that's that one. And I can't wait to play this game because the control is just so different yeah, from anything it's out like there. A yeah, thrust, like a thrust launcher thing. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. No, oh, it's brand new. It looks like it literally came from the factory. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing, Sasha. Shoot. Then after that, you got Quantum. So I'm going to push this out of the way a bit. Yeah, make sure that doesn't. So we got Quantum here. That was another big build. Um, reproduction cabinet. Uh, but all the guts are original. Everything inside is original. Amplifone monitor, the, the original Quantum board, original AR2, power brick. Um, you know. It's uh, it's like it came out of the factory. Um, once again, the art is from Phoenix Arcade, all screen printed, beautiful art. This stuff, I think, it has one of the nicest art packages. Quantum. It's cool, and it's yeah. a shame because it wasn't that popular as the other. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and this one here, I could probably spin it around a little bit. It's okay. You don't have to be too. Uh, for me, too much. So everything 
rebuilt that art that front panel art was hard to put on lining it up was a biatch i've heard um, yeah with the white i've heard that yeah and i couldn't i couldn't get rid of it no matter how i know i positioned it that was the least amount of white um i don't know why but um i think i got it right on the sides and the bottom it's all yeah you know john said that as well and john's like yeah. yeah i think he said the same thing yeah so i just finished the control panel recently um i think it came out really really nice i installed the amp monitor um i think that looks nice too but uh you know, I have yet to plug it in because I got a lot of things to double check inside. Oh yeah, for yeah, especially the uh, the voltages. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I think something like this, something I value and and, and love so much, I I, I I gotta get somebody here to double check my work before I, I plug in any power. Sure. Yeah. So next one here is my Wild Thing slot machine. This thing is in mint condition. That's it's awesome. Gorgeous uh, casino game, a real casino slot machine. Um, quite rare actually um, and uh, it plays well this is the only game my mom comes down to because <laughs> she's scared to go to real casino she so she gets all my quarters and uh, goes to town and nobody's won the jackpot yet it's on casino settings no way nobody's won so that's a hard I believe it is to win in the real casino that's cool and I pumped a lot of quarters into this thing really eh? um, so it's like a piggy bank I, I probably have I don't know about Five hundred dollars in quarters. In you there. serious? Yeah. That much? Yeah, it's the, the, <laughs> the bin inside is packed. Yeah, so you can buy a new game. Yeah, seriously. Uh, here's another one, uh, oh, Paperboy. Yeah. This like I can't wait man. to get it working. Um, I think I have a board issue, and uh, had another club member work on it for me, and I'm getting a white screen, um, and I can't figure it out. I checked my voltages; everything looks good. I put new Molexes with new Molex pins. Um, because they were looked corroded and uh, so I changed them out still didn't solve the issue um, I did something interesting on this I chromed the coin door and I also chromed uh, re-chromed the handlebars and NOS uh, grips and I went with an art package that I believe a uh, club member did uh, Griffin hmm. Looks I, good. I believe it's Griffin uh, he's he's an amazing paperboy uh, source of information that guy um, he did a beautiful restore on his and he got I think it's signed by all these uh, people who actually worked on Paperboy so that was the um, I believe the how would you call it when you inspiration right right for, for sure. my Paperboy build um, and that's an original marquee that's I think that's one of the only things original in terms of the art everything else is reproduction let's go I want to see in the back as well because yeah I mean I've seen them on like in videos but just seeing the how big the board and how long is it? It's just outstanding. Yeah. Uh, so the cabinet's a rebuild by Markle. And like I said, that, I, that guy makes, I think, some of the best cabinets out there. Um, there's other people too, but this guy is just a pro at it. And he does it all, I think, pretty much by hand. He doesn't do CNC. I don't think anything. And these things are exact. Um, gorgeous cabinets. Pretty much looks like it came from the Atari factory. Everything fits. That's original. Um, I just can't get it working. <laughs> we'll get it once again it's one of those games that uh, I need a, a local techie to help me out with for sure I love it I love it so that's that one uh, we talked Texas about Galaga, beer. my beer fridge uh, so we're going to fill these slots with games eventually right now this is interesting because you turned it on I'm like what the hell is this yeah that's a, that's a rare bird indeed it's a carnival slimline trimline now this thing I went to town on and it took me forever to find any oddball piece that was missing. There's not many of these made. Beautiful. <clears throat> and the only thing extra I put on it was the instruction guide that was on the Carnival cocktail, the Got standard it. cocktail. And uh, I think it looked good there. <laughs> Look, yeah, smoke egg. Yeah, the smoke. I love it. Yeah, there's one on each side, by the way. Oh, pretty, is there? That's so scared. cool, yeah. man. Yeah, I think that was such a cool touch. I want to buy just a smoke in it. And this is a great game, by the way. This is, is it a really? fun game. Oh, yeah. It's not many people know about Carnival. I mean, there's a lot of uprights, but a lot of collectors don't really... I don't think a lot of people played it. And once they played it, they were like, okay, this game is quite intense. It's fun. And there's a lot to it. And I think it's a great game. So uh, cool, man. it's something... I think it's historic. I think it's uh, it, it, exceptionally rare. And something I think I'll keep in my collection for as long as I can. Makes sense. And last here uh, is uh, 
Beautiful yeah, Asteroids Deluxe. Deluxe. This was a partial restore. This is original side art in near mint condition. Uh, I didn't have to do any Bondo work on this cab, believe it or not. All the edges were square. Everything was like, and I'm type A, so I like, this had to be in really good condition to not do any uh, restoration any restore. work. Yeah. Let me just I, get in front quick here. I did uh, some um, repowder coating. I did the coin door, I did the control panel, but I ended up covering it with a new overlay anyways. Uh, putting on uh, the CPO, the control panel overlay on an Asteroids Deluxe is tough. Lining it up is tough because the holes are not pre-cut. Oh man. Oh, it's, it's crazy. It's that would crazy. scare me. Yeah. And this has the anti-reflection shield. That's cool, uh, man. But the vectors on this game are so crisp, Oh, it looks so, so cool. And it does have the original 3D... Uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, when it glows in the glow in the dark type yeah. ink, it has the original background and it's in mint condition. However, I still bought Phoenix Phoenix Arcades in case huh? because his his reproduction is incredible. Yeah, so that's this one. This is the last one. And then but, this is just the rest of the room here. Yeah, that's looking around. Uh, but uh, I have at my shop. I have a uh, restored Moon Patrol, a restored Battle Zone, and a restored Tempest. Uh, that's coming. Uh, I'm hoping to bring it all here next week along with all the rest of my parts wow. and PCBs. So, um, you know, I, I do a lot of mucking around after work on my arcades and I figured I got to spend more time with the family and the kids and the uh, best way to do that is set it up so I can do it all at home. And yeah, that's man. what I've been preparing. Smart. Yeah, I, I love the hobby and geez, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot doing it and I met a lot of good friends, a lot of good people. Uh, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy the 80s. Anything 80s arcades. Uh, however, for guys like you and the other guys, the pin guys, I got to get a couple of pins. I'm missing pins and I'm missing some 90s fighting games like a Mortal Kombat and a Street Fighter. Right, right. Um, the only thing 90s I think I really have is the Neo Geo. It's true, it is, yeah. 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 Uh, but there's other games. Uh, Mad Planets I should be getting soon. Nice. I'm waiting for another club member to uh, keep his agreement with me and sell it to me. Uh, uh, but uh, other than that, after I bring those three plus the Mad Planets, I'm just going to take a chill pill for a bit and uh, work on the games that are here and refine them past what they already are. And, and fix them, right? Just have them up and running and then yeah. move forward. Yeah, yeah. And, and play them like crazy for yeah. a while, you know. And then hopefully maybe next year or whatever, buy a couple more. Uh, because I'd like to have two more rows of games back to back. Just one, right here, right? One there and then one here. Mm. So... Uh, I think I could fit about 50 games in here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And plus three or four pins. That's which would be my ultimate. Yeah. But I love it. You know what? One thing that changed everything for me here was putting that workbench. Yeah, man. It actually looks really nice. Organized. Looks good. Yeah. That changed everything. I, and I it's quick it because it's warm. Yeah. You can work down here anytime, yeah. winter or summer. Quiet. I can concentrate. Quiet. Yeah. And then if something's wrong with this, you just go boom and then right back yeah. in. Smart. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, the uh, only thing I'm missing is my desolder gun. I have to get a desolder gun because using a solder sucker when you get into more intense work like changing a ton of sockets, it gets messy. It gets really, really messy. And uh, and I got little kids. I can't have shards of little sharp uh, solder Metal, all around. Yeah. So I got to get that desolder gun. I got to invest in it. All but, right, uh, Sasha. Anything else you want to pretty much end off saying? Any, like, yeah. Obviously, with you know, this is on the way, but... <laughs> Thanks that, for thank you for coming. No, you're uh, kidding. You know, Thanks for having me. It's so because uh, we'll it's been years. We'll do part two when I have the other games here, and we'll, yeah, we'll give it a bit once it's more complete, and uh, we'll do an actual play. Yeah, anytime. like you know, Sasha, yeah, Steven yeah. Sasha play. Yeah. Uh, totally. But yeah, man. So yeah, thanks again for having me, guys. If you haven't had a gens, please check out Top Tier Arcade. You can always subscribe. Um, a lot more coming. This is actually a good change because, like I said, usually when I do the restore, excuse me, the uh, two on tour, it's the newer games yeah. and this is really you're the only one that I know personally that has an old er you know collection based on the late 70s and 80s so a very good change for even for me to yeah. kind of rekindle what uh, what I've missed as well so Sasha thanks again for having me on top tier kids one of mommy's friends are here oh to answer the door oh okay that's, that's probably, probably my wife, wife. <laughs> yeah. alright all right. that's Cheers, a good cue alright guys take care thanks again for checking out top tier Sasha it's been a pleasure okay. and thanks for having me all the best I right, take care. Peace. Cheers. There's something going on. Or something. Hey guys, just before we go, I just Sasha says, like, why don't you just you know take a a video with the lights off? So this is gonna be really cool when it's all lit up with all the games, you know, all there.
in here. So can't wait. So that's going to be really cool when we revisit this place. Peace.